In patients where PAD has been found or is part of a full lower limb assessment, popliteal and femoral pulses can also be assessed by the assessing clinician. This can help determine severity, extent and location of PAD, which may help decide whether non-surgical or surgical management is the best option for the patient. Popliteal pulses can be assessed initially by palpating them in the dip at the rear of the knee. Ask the patient to relax their knee, then clasp the knee in both hands and press up into the popliteal area at the rear of the leg with the three middle fingers of both hands. Pull the fingers down slightly towards the calf muscle and wait a few seconds to see if you can feel the pulse. To listen to the popliteal pulse signal with a Doppler, the 5 MHz probe is the best choice. Ask the patient to flex or rotate the knee away from you a little. Press the probe with plenty of gel against the rear of the knee area, pointing towards the heart and search for the pulse signal. Femoral pulses can be assessed having first explained to the patient what you are doing and seeking consent to do this. Clothing can be loosened rather than removed and a chaperone is advised, if preferred by the patient or the clinician. Palpate using the middle fingers of one or both hands, pressing firmly into the femoral crease, midway between iliac rest and pubic area. To listen to the femoral pulse, place the 5 MHz probe in the femoral crease with some coupling gel, midway pointing towards the heart, and slide it slightly up and down the crease until the best Doppler signal is audibly located. Record the palpability of both popliteal and femoral pulses and use in conjunction with the foot pulses, Doppler waveforms, ABI, TBI and clinical presentation to help develop the clinical diagnosis and treatment plan.